In this video, I'm going to show you the setup uh, for two-way coupling analysis between ANSYS Maxwell and ANSYS Mechanical Thermal. So, uh, the workflow is ANSYS Maxwell generates uh, the loss, um, and this loss uh, will be passed to ANSYS Mechanical for the thermal analysis. Uh, the temperature information will be generated by ANSYS Mechanical Thermal, and this temperature can be passed back to ANSYS Maxwell, um, and which which can affect uh, the material properties. For example, the conductivity of the metal, the magnet performance, and the regenerate the new loss, this new loss information will be passed to the ANSYS mechanical. So this whole system uh, keeps running until it's converged. So in order to include the temperature in the simulation, first we need to include this temperature in the material properties. We can define the temperature dependence materials through this thermal modifier. So instead of none, we define the temperature information here, either through this equation or through the data set. Once the material properties have been defined, we also need to um, include this temperature dependence information by checking this box. And here we can define the initial temperature information for the initial uh, simulation. Um, if we just need like one-way one -way coupling simulation, which means we do not need the temperature information from the ANSYS mechanical, mechanical um, back to the ANSYS Maxwell, then this is all the setup we need to do. Uh, we, uh, we input the temperature dependence material, and then we include the temperature de dependence in the setup, and then we can run the simulation. If we need the two-way um, coupling simulation, we also then then we also need to enable this feedback so that ANSYS Maxwell can read the temperature. Um, this simple example is from our training material. So in this example, we uh, get the loss here. And, and this, this loss will be passed to the ANSYS mechanical through this link. And then in the ANSYS mechanical, uh, we import the loss here. Uh, I didn't really try to get the accurate result as this is mainly show you the workflow and the setup. So um, in real project, uh, we can get better uh, loss, um, better distribution, better heat distribution. So if, if we need the, um, the two-way uh, two um, coupling analysis, we need to make sure that export after soft is yes. By default, this is no. So change this to yes. This means that this, uh, the temperature will be, this means like eventually the temperature information, it seems this haven't been solved. So the temperature will be sent back to the ANSYS Maxwell. Uh, and um, the, uh, the reason why I need to add this feedback is this contributes to the convergence for the system. So then like for example, if I set up as like a 1% or uh, five passes and then uh, the software will start, uh, the, the simulation will be stopped. So this is uh, all the setups for the two-way coupling analysis.